Paul Yagorov from Center High is our next and final contestant for round two. After graduation, he plans on attending a four-year university and hopefully one day practicing surgery. Welcome, Paul. Life Cycle of Common Man by Howard Nemiroff. Roughly figured, this man of moderate habits, this average consumer of the middle class, consumed in the course of his average lifespan, just under half a million cigarettes, 4,000 fifths of gin, and about a quarter as much vermouth. He drank maybe a hundred thousand cups of coffee, and counting his parents shared cost something like half a million dollars to put him through life. How many beasts died to provide him with meat, belt, and shoes cannot be certainly said. But anyhow. It is in this way that a man travels through time, leaving behind him a lengthening trail of empty bottles and bones, of broken shoes, frayed collars, and worn out or outgrown diapers and dinner jackets, silk ties, and slickers. Given the energy and security thus achieved, he did what? The usual things, of course, the eating, dreaming, drinking, and begetting, and he worked for the money which was to pay for the eating, etc., which were necessary if he were to go on working for the money, etc. But chiefly, he talked. As the bottles and bones accumulated behind him, the words proceeded steadily from the front of his face as he advanced into the silence and made it verbal. Who can tally the tale of his words? A lifetime would barely suffice for their repetition. If you merely printed all his commas, the result would be a very large volume. And the number of times he said thank you or very little sugar please would stagger the imagination. There were also witticisms, platitudes, and statements beginning, it seems to me, or as I always say. Consider the courage in all that. And behold the man walking into deep silence with the ectoplastic cartoon's balloon of speech proceeding steadily out of the front of his face. The words borne along on the breath which is his spirit telling the numberless tale of his untold word, which makes the world his apple and forces him to eat. Thank you.